line, Tristan Hodge, one-on-one -on -one BYU Sports Nation All Access. What does he think about the offensive line being the deepest position group, and is he buying into that type of hype? We discuss that and much more. BYU Sports Nation All Access, Tristan Hodge. Tristan, what's the first thing that comes to mind when I say Monday night football versus Navy? The first thing that usually comes to mind would be NFL, but you know what? This year is BYU versus Navy. You got the A team of Reese Davis and Kirk Herbstreit set to call that game. No fans in the stadium. What kind of atmosphere are you anticipating? Um, uh, I mean, like everybody's been saying, it was kind of like a scrimmage. I mean, at the end of the day, when I go out on the field, it, it's just me and my boys. I kind of block out the fans, but it's definitely going to be a uh, surreal to walk out there with nobody in the stadium. So it'll be interesting. I mean, I'm excited. Where will the energy come from on the BYU sideline with no fans? You know what? It's got to come from us. And uh, number one, it's going to come from the offensive line. We're the juice crew. We're going to have all that juice. And if people need it, we got it. Okay, let's start with, uh, or let's go to the offensive line, rather. The first BYU depth chart was released today. You are listed as the starting right guard on an offensive line that, let's face it, has received a lot of positivity and uh, notoriety. Are you buying the hype for this BYU offensive line? You know what? We haven't done a single thing in 2020 yet, so I uh, can't, can't take the poison right now. But you know what? There's a lot of great guys on this offensive line, a lot of experience, um, and we've been doing great this camp. We're, we're ready to show off for BYU fans come Monday. Who's the offensive lineman that deserves more credit or more publicity? You know what? I say my boy Clark Barrington. He's, he's worked incredibly hard this offseason. I've seen all the work he's put in. And you know what? And that, that being said, he always is, comes to work every day with his blue collar and his lunch pail, and he puts his nose to the grindstone and just comes to work. So uh, definitely that guy right there. It's nice to see so much experience on the offensive line and the depth for sure among uh, across most all positions. Uh, that said, Tristan, football is a game of bumps and bruises. So how's, how's your health right now at this point in fall camp? I feel great. Um, I love, I've told a lot of people, you know, quarantine was kind of a little, uh, it was a nice little blessing. Uh, I got to heal up a little more, but, you know, through this fall camp, yeah, bumps and bruises happen, but you know what? I feel great. We're with Tristan Hodge on BYU Sports Nation Zoom interview as the Cougars prepare for Navy and Monday night football. Uh, when you look at what your coaches uh, are implementing in terms of traveling protocols, you're going to fly out Sunday morning. That was revealed by Kalani Sitake. How will the traveling uh, tradition change or stay the same for you as the team this year? Um, you know, it's going to be different. I mean, we're all going to have to wear masks, so that's definitely the biggest difference. Um, as of yet, I mean, I couldn't say how our differences are going to be. I mean, I feel like it'll be the same for the most part. Um, I mean, of course, you have to maintain social distancing, but I feel like on the buses and stuff like that, we do that anyway. Um, uh, so, yeah, I, I feel like it won't change too much. Speaking of masks, are you going with something like you have around your neck right now, or does that change by the day, like part of your outfit? Um, you know what, I, this right here is kind of my staple right now. Um, uh, Coach Mateo supplied the whole line with these uh, interesting ones. I have two that kind of, uh, they change, you know, what I'm, whatever I'm feeling. When it's on the field, it's one of our BYU Gators. But you know what, this one stays on, looks cool. You know, I kind of feel like a superhero when I'm walking around. <laughs> That's the right attitude to have always as an offensive lineman. Uh, of course, Coach Mateos would be the one that would provide those, right? Why am I not surprised? Oh, I was, you know, he came in one day and said, hey, here's your mask. And I was like, hey, okay, you know what? Free masks, they look good. I'll take it. <laughs> BYU opens up as a two-and-a-half point underdog at Navy. That line has moved to about a point or a point and a half, uh, depending on where you look or if you care about Vegas lines. How do you feel about playing in the season opener as an underdog? You know, well, it's always fuel of the fire. You know, I, put us in a corner, we'll come out swinging. That's what I always like. So many people that are against us, we'll, we'll go prove them wrong. Full steam ahead for Navy preparation right now. What do you know about the midshipmen and their defense right now and how they'll try and attack you? You know, their, their defense definitely likes to move around. They're one of those teams I like to stem. They're not going to stay put. They're rarely going to stay in the same um, front for long. Um, and, you know, they're going to they're gonna blitz us. We know that they're going to give that to us, and we're just prepared for every single one that they're going to give us. Of course, they're going to have their little flavor of the week, something new we haven't seen yet. But that being said, we're not going to let it shock us, to knock us off guard. We're, we're looking at all the film. We're going to be prepared for everything they throw at us. And we know for sure that they're not going to stay still. So, okay, we'll, we, we won't stay still with you. Fair enough. What has the scout team done to help you prepare for uh, a defensive front that likes to move around and show a lot of different looks? 
you know, they've actually done their due, their due diligence. Um, our GAs and our scout team alike have, you know, put the time in the film room, looking at what they like to do. They made sure to put in that work of, you know, when they're going to move, they're going to move. They're going to show us the best look that they can. And they've shown it so far um, this far in camp. And, you know, I love what they're doing. They're showing us a great look. And I know they're just going to come out today and give us another great one. BYU offensive lineman Tristan Hodge on BYU Sports Nation. This BYU team has largely been together since June with player run practices, then some official team activities, and of course, followed by training camp through uh, late July and through August. How have you avoided a burnout factor with this team having been around each other so much and not really having had a summer break? You know, I think it's the uh, two months we had off, you know, two months of being completely separate for that entire quarantine, coming back together. You know, we were like, hey, we're getting a little stir crazy. Football's not in our lives. And when we finally got to come back together, we're like, hey, look, you know, this has kind of shown us, you know, the opportunities that we have and that at any moment, uh, they can be kind of taken away and we can be put away for a little while. And, you know, we're taking advantage of all that, you know, knowing that anything can be the last. So we're, we're taking every day in stride and, you know, loving every second of it. How is this team different from any other team at BYU that you have been a part of? I definitely feel that like there's a sense of team unity. I, I, I feel that more than ever. And I, I say that again, you know, we've been gone away from each other for so long, you know, with spring ball being cut out that we realize there's a bigger appreciation of each other, of football, of the team and the season that we're going to have. So we, you know, we have a, a bigger vote of appreciation for everything. With team chemistry and relationships in mind, Who's the defender that you enjoy competing against the most? <laughs> you know what? There's actually two that I love to do. I like to go against Kyrus and Bracken. I think they're the funnest. You know, they always, you know, they, they're always, they're super competitive. So it's, it's always a fun battle to go against those two. And there's always, you know, there's always banter. There's always jokes and stuff like that. So it's, it's always a good time. I'm not sure I could pick two more polar opposite personalities than Kyrus and Bracken. How do you manage that uh, polar uh, display of uh, personalities? Hey, I, I like it. You know, go from one end of the spectrum to the other. I think they're both, you know, they're, they're fun to go with. They certainly are getting you ready. Uh, I'm sure about that. Um, as far as scheduling goes and uh, the last four weeks seeing all these new teams pop into your schedule, what has that been like for you uh, from a mentality standpoint? You know, it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like Christmas. You don't really know what you're going to get. Um, I mean, beginning of fall camp, we didn't know who we were going to play at all. We had like two or three games that were somewhat still on the schedule, and we didn't, we had no game one. So we're sitting here like, okay, what's going on? Then, of course, game one pops up. We have Navy. We're like, okay, there's our gift. We're going to work toward that. Then another, then another, then another. It's like it's like the gift that keeps on giving. You know, we're <laughs> seeing you're getting new things, and it's it's kind of cool the surprise of not knowing who we're gonna play next. It kind of adds a little spice, a little flavor. You know, maybe this maybe this is how it should be for from now on is kind of uh, show the schedule late on and not not tell you who you're playing till late. And yeah, we'll take that up with Tom Homo. I'm not sure his heart can handle that, uh, but he's done he's done a magnificent job putting together eight games thus far. Who else do you want on the 2020 schedule, Tristan? Whoever wants to play us, you know, I'm, I can't complain about games. If they want to play us, we'll play them. Rain or shine, wherever they want us to go, we'll go. Okay, you're the offensive coordinator, and you are calling the first play on offense for the season. What are you calling? Oh, man, I'm not calling a pass, that's for sure. I'm putting it on the back <laughs> of the O-line. We're running that ball. <laughs> I love it. I love the confidence, man. It's uh, great to catch up with you. Uh, we're super stoked, obviously, that BYU and Navy are going to kick off the season. Let's give you some BYU Sports Nation karma. Go and distribute it uh, among your brethren on the offensive line, and let's have some fun in Annapolis. Yes, sir. We will. The energy 